Hey guys, it's Bren, and I know it's been a while. A couple of reasons I haven't been around lately. One is I've just been really, really, really busy with like every aspect of my personal life, but more so I just haven't had anything that I really needed to talk about or film about. I haven't purchased anything in a while. I kind of got all of the fall reviews done pretty early because White Barn came out with the fall candles before Bath & Body Works did, but now I haven't really had the chance to get my hands on anything super new. White Barn might just now, this week, have some of the holiday candles out that Bath & Body Works doesn't have, but prior to yesterday, they just had all the same stuff that BBW does, which is a lot of repackages and nothing I was really thrilled about. So I didn't make the trip there, and every time I went into Bath & Body Works, it was just stuff from last year. I don't know. So we do have some new body care out now, um, some new soaps and a couple new things. So I went yesterday and I grabbed four things. So I have a very small haul that I'll share with you and then I'll kind of add my thoughts on some of the other new products that I didn't get too. And potentially whenever there is a candle sale now again, they've been having one every weekend, but of course there was nothing new coming out. Now it will warrant a trip into White Barn. So I'll be back and probably hopefully will not be gone for so long next time. Okay, so here's the first thing I got, and I walked in, I saw this sitting all alone on a shelf by itself, and I grabbed it. It's a pedestal, and, it, well, or candle holder, as they call it, and has a white barn tag, Bath & Body Works info on the back. It was $16.50 list price, and just look at it. I mean, it's, it's clear, but then with, like, silver flecking, but it's or splattering I don't know so it's mostly looks silver but you can see some like clear spots on it I am not an accessories person or a pedestal person I have like one plain black pedestal I got from Ikea that I keep a candle on but other than that I don't really go for this stuff part of that is I have more like modern taste I guess and a lot of the things are too intricate for me but this was just seemed perfect. I just thought it was gorgeous. And for $16.50 before a coupon, I thought it was great. So here's what it looks like with a candle on it, right? Which I just think this one's so pretty, this sweater weather. So I'm really excited about that. And then when I checked it out, she was like, this is the only one that we got in, just that one. And that's why it was all up by itself on a shelf. She's like, that's it. You got the only one. And they had just put it out that day. So I was really glad. So Bought myself a pedestal. Maybe I'll start buying more now. I don't know. This one, too, it does look very holiday-ish because it's so shiny, but I might be able to find something to do with it other times of the year as well. And then I wanted to get up to 30 so I could use a 10 off 30 because I still have old survey coupons. So I just got some random stuff. I had to get the little penguin scent portable holder. I've got like a snowman from last year, but this is just so darn cute. I mean, $6.50 is crazy, and I hate paying that much, but come on, man. He's adorable. Whatever you think of scent portables, this is just cute. So I got that. Then I try never to buy wallflowers at full price. I try to wait for the 350 sale, but I really wanted to try this one. I got the home pumpkin cheesecake wallflower. They didn't have any tester candles for it out, so the sales associate let me open one in the store and we smelled it. And we both agreed right there that it, it's the same as the pumpkin spiced cheesecake candle, which my Bath & Body Works is actually out of now. They said it sold great, it sold fast, and she was saying she hoped they had brought it back at some point, but Anyway, they were out. It does smell like that, and I think it's supposed to be the same thing. But there's something missing for me, and that's the cheesiness. Compared to the candle, you don't get a cream cheese smell. It almost just smells like the graham cracker crust of a cheesecake with, like, some cinnamon in it. Some kind of baked good with a slight spicy element, like I said, cinnamon. And I had this plugged in, like I bought it, went home, plugged it in, left, came back with a friend and we both agreed it smelled like I was baking something in here. It smelled really good. So it smells great, but it's lacking the cream cheese cheesiness of cheesecake. Smells more just like graham cracker crust, like, or perhaps a little more spicy and a little more caramely than that, but it's missing the cheese. 
Now, if you were one of the people that did not like the pumpkin spice cheesecake candle because you thought it smelled like sour milk, then you might actually like the wallflower better because I don't get that with this at all. I didn't think it smelled like sour milk. I thought it smelled like cheesecake. So I'm a little disappointed that it's not in this wallflower, but I still like the wallflower enough that I'm going to buy a couple more when they go on sale. It's good. And so far it's strong. You never know with wallflowers. I can't say having it only plugged in for one night, you know, if this is going to end up being strong or not, because they're all like pretty strong for the first couple days. But I will surely report back on Instagram or maybe in a future, um, future empties video about how it performs when it gets lower. But anyway, that was the third thing I bought. And then the final thing, Frosted Cranberry Hand Cream. And I went a little over 30, but I was just like, I want to get out of here. So the Frosted Cranberry Hand Cream I'm excited about because I've always been a really big fan of this candle. And now we have it in the soap and hand cream this year. I would love this in a full body care line. None of the body care they have this year is really grabbing me. And I'll get to that in a second. So this I would like in a shower gel and a fine fragrance mist and everything else. Uh, you definitely get the same things that you get from the candle, perhaps with like a little more of like a soapy note to it, but it still smells like cranberry. And there's like a little hint of like a Christmassy pine kind of note in the background. Smells really good. I really, really like it. So I recommend the Frosted Cranberry Hand Cream, $5. That was it. Pedestal, set portable holder, one wallflower, cranberry hand cream. And I was out of there. I think uh, there's a couple more things I want to get. There's like a wallflower plug that I want to get, but I just didn't bother with it this time. I might use one of my coupons to get that later. So I did get the new set of coupons and it's right now a free item up to $13 with $15 purchase starting November 16th. It's a 10 off 30 and starting December 7th, a 20% off your purchase. There are multiple places to look these up online and on Instagram if you want more info on those. As far as all the other new stuff that is out, like I said, not really super impressed. A lot of repackages out now in the main stores. A few new things, but none of them were really for me. I think Alpine Cheer is pretty good, but it's just not my thing. I'm not really a pine person. The winter sun is terrible. Uh, it does smell like cleaner. Um, and the Cozy Cabin, I actually kind of liked. I'm surprised that I liked it because that wouldn't typically be my thing either. I don't know if I like it enough to try it or buy it, but I didn't hate it. It's a vanilla woodsy type of scent. It's okay. But the ones that I really want to hurry up and come out are not in Bath Body Works stores yet. I've got to find out if they're at White Barn. I don't know yet, but I'm kind of waiting for a candle sale to bother calling them because I feel like I call them all the time. So um, I'm crossing my finger for a candle sale. There were new soaps out that actually weren't bad. I mean, a lot of the Christmas soaps are out, and the Frosted Cranberry soap is out. The Winter Wonderland is a lot like the Iced Blackberry from last year, but it's like more ginger, less berry, and I don't like that as much. And the Fresh Sparkling Snow display in the store right now is gorgeous, but of course I don't really like that scent, but they've got that now and a candle and body care and soap and hand cream and everything else. The Thanksgiving candles and soaps, the candles are mostly repackages. A lot of people really like the feast one, but that's really sweet and mapley. So again, that's really not my thing. Uh, the Thanksgiving soaps, the one that kind of surprised me, the coconut vanilla one, I was like, coconut like this time of year? No, but I do actually like it enough that I might get one. It kind of reminds me of a coffee scent though too, like kind of smells like a latte, but then the coconuts in there, it was pretty good. It was, you know, all right, but I, I didn't want enough soap that I wanted to do for the five for 18 or anything. So I don't know. I'm hoping when all the holiday candles hit, there will be more for me to be excited about because right now I'm kind of just like waiting for something to wow me, you know, picking up a few things here and there. There are a few things on my list that I want to get in the future. Uh, but that's it for now. So I'm sorry that I don't really have that much to talk about lately. I do need to do an empties video. I had one I was going to do at the end of September. And like I said, I just got too busy to do that. So now I'll probably wait till the end of October and combine those two months. So I've got that. Um, I'll be back for sure. And I'm flattered that some of you noticed and were like, hey, where have you been? We missed you. Because <laughs> um, I didn't really think anybody would notice if I went away for a little bit. So um, I'll be back later, though. Until then, you can follow me on Instagram at wakeupwriting, and I'll see you later.